I've been thinking about you lately. Got you stuck in my head like a pop song. What I gotta do, baby? You make a player wanna put a rock on you. Classic with it, that's a given. Let's make good mistakes and bad decisions. I So here you are again My legend It's nice to see you in such a good shape So how has it been? Your life on the edge end It feels like you've never been away Come closer to me yeah. And be by my side Good to be back on the road, yeah baby. I have missed this girl. So off to get my baby MOT so she's road legal so we can start getting back on the road. Sun is supposed to be coming this week. So we should be able to get out and get a few a few nice little pokey rides in and a little bit of motor vlogging <sighs> life is good Okay, let's do some off-roading. Yeah. Where the frick is Hay Street? Boom, 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 banana. We're off-roading. Ah. Tell them bounce if they never seen an ounce of the rod. You need one, hit me up, I know who to call. So, yes, she passed. She's back on the road. Big thanks to Steve at the MOT Garage for fitting me in quickly because there's supposed to be sun coming. It's supposed to be sun shining. It's currently raining. Shouldn't be raining. We've been promised some sun on the British Isle and it is coming. Laney thinks it's already sunny, apparently. What's going on here, Bobster? He's <laughs> taking out the rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why, are Why are you in a bikini taking out the it's do the, the rubbish? Sun dance. There's no sun dance. Do the 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 sun dance. <laughs> it's not working. It's still raining. Blaney, <laughs> to the rescue! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our podcast we're doing together. One went up yesterday. We are smashing out the videos, but yeah, you guys liking us together on there, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it up. I like it being crew cast. It's a crew cast. This with is a our little crew. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing a rock you can't talk. Those two little stinkers. They can uh, fart on us. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going out on some mo motor vlogging rides. I'm gonna do them because you like them. Remember, I did that one on like fat talking and oh god knows what. I'm gonna go for a ride. Microphone seems to work well. So hit me up below in the comment section with some topics, but not macros. Not diet, because I'm going to do something a little bit more extreme for that. Hit me up with something different in the comment section, I'll record that this week. But, for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start something a little bit extreme. Something a little bit, a little bit hardcore, it's a little bit hard, it's not, it's going to suck, it's not going to be fun, I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to do a seven day transformation. Why? Because, you know, I had issues with my left shoulder. 
So that stopped me lifting, it stopped me pressing. And when you're unable to do kind of pressing motions for a certain amount of time, the body depletes, it doesn't look as full, it doesn't look as pumped. Plus, Lainey had her competition, she had her show. Maybe I had a little bit of sympathy eating. Maybe I had a little bit of pizza. Maybe I had a little bit of chocolate. Maybe I had a little bit of cheese. Jelly beans, jelly babies. After eight, crisps, ice cream, more cheese, sausages, meat, burgers, cheese, more sweets. So, things have got a little bit I haven't been able to press, I haven't been able to train properly. There's been a bit, a bit, a bit of water lugging. A little bit of tuba tuba to it. And I'm not afraid to show you that shit. So I'm gonna show you today what it look like right now. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna change that from now to seven days. Why seven days? Because it's possible with manipulation and that's what I wanna show you. I wanna show you that you can manipulate the body to look, to change. Now what I'm gonna do is not gonna be sustainable. What I'm gonna do is gonna be a bit like a peak week you do for a show. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna drag the body from being off center, it's gonna drag it back to center and through to a peak. Now that peak's not sustainable, remember this. But the reason I wanna do this is because I want to show you guys how the body can be manipulated and changed simply with diet, training regime, and manipulating the mechanisms of the body. Not fucking steroids, not fucking drugs, not some super secret red pill, super secret mighty multi-morphine power powder. I want you to start understanding that this stuff is possible once you get to a certain stage with your lifting, with your diet, and with your control. Now, yes, of course I lift. Yes, all that lean mass that I've had prior to the way I look now, from the week before where I was looking jacked, is still the same lean mass. I haven't lost any muscle. I've just depleted glycogen. I just haven't been able to train those body parts as I was training them before. So they're not as swole, they're not as edema, they're, they're just not as pumped. But now my shoulder's a little bit better. I started to be able to press again. So, let's take a look at where we're starting at. A quick look where we're currently at after pizza's chocolate cheese and sweets. Hello there, I am the pizza that you ate. I am the eight bars of chocolate and full is the egg. <laughs> So you can still see the muscle is there underneath, but I'm kind of a little bit bloated and loggy right now. Not looking too impressive by any stretch of the imagination. You know what I mean? Look at this. <laughs> of when I get like water retention, it's all here. Look at this. Ooh. But you can see I'm just not kind of as full here. I'm, of course it still looks like a lift, but it's been a solid week since I've done any real decent good upper body training. I've been able to deadlift okay, but there's just been a lot of kind of bicep curling and, and, and other nonsense. Seriously, imagine that sat by the beach. Which is another reason I'm doing this, because I bought Lainey a surprise getaway. We're going away for six days. We're going to the beaches of Turkey on an all-inclusive. And this is a motivation for me to want to drag my ass back into the condition I was, you know, a couple of weeks previous, even last week but also take it that little bit further, using the manipulation of a peak week. And that is gonna run off macros, tracking every day what I'm eating, and then manipulating those macros to also coincide with the way the body works and how I know I can manipulate that, like I would do prior to a show. So, this is gonna give you guys an insight into number one, how to peak the body, number two, how to maybe run a peak week if you're coming into a show and you're a little bit nervous and unsure about what to do for that one. I'm gonna go through it all. I'm gonna give you my, my fitness pal that you can follow me here. You'll be able to check in with everything I log every day. Now, I can't guarantee that I'm gonna log it meal by meal as in the way it's set out. Sometimes I just log in mass and jam it all in meal one, meal two. That doesn't mean it's necessarily the way I've eaten them. Sometimes I'll clump a couple of meals together, but every ingredient, every level in my macros that I hit each day will be there for you guys to follow. Seven days. I'm gonna run this over probably four videos. Each video I'll show you two example meals. So by the time you've done four videos, you'll have six or seven meals as examples of how I've eaten, using macros and tracking, and how I've done it, so you have to take and use yourself and manipulate those numbers for yourself. Okay? So no fucking excuses for you to not understand at least a little bit more about macros in that way. What I'll also do in those videos is cover some of the um, volumization techniques and all the things like that that can help you feel less hungry, fill out your food when we get down to some lower macros, because I will be tapering down macros I will be depleting and then I will be loading. So, a little bit exciting, a little bit fun, something a little bit different. Should hopefully cover those things that you guys have been asking me about macros, obviously because we're coming to that summer season, time when people start wanting to get in shape. So this is something that we can do together. You can do it alongside me. So here we go. Seven day transformation begins today. Cardio, macros, tracking food, weighing food, being clever with 
our ingredients, our profiles, but not limiting anything. If it fits the macros, the targets I set, that's what we'll hit. And I'm gonna include some cheeky things all along the way. So this will not be a chicken and broccoli diet. I'm gonna try and include on each and every day, either something like a McDonald's or a chocolate bar or something naughty. Just to prove not only can we manipulate the way the body looks in a seven day period, but also we can do that still eating bad foods of which there's no goddamn thing. But you'll know that after we're done with this. So next video will be weighing day one, day two, tactics, macros, everything that's gonna be going down, meal for meal plans, day for day plans, and timelines. So let's do it, let's get ready crew. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, hit me up in the comment section for topics for those motor vlogs, and I'll catch you in the next upload, which will be Thursday. I'll see you then. Thanks for all the support. Check out the podcast in the meantime. I've been Lex. Boom, baby. I'm out.